Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper, and I'm back for Penny Black, and today I'm going to be making a double embossed gold card. And to do that, I'm using this really pretty floral background stamp. It's a slapstick called Poppy Pattern. And I'm going to start working on my first layer of gold. So I'm using my Versamark ink, and I'm, and I'm actually working on my work surface. Because it's such a large stamp, it's much easier. I find it much easier to do this than try and mount it onto my stamp press or onto a block. Because then I can just add the cardstock directly over top. And I like to use my brayer to make sure that I get a good impression on the large stamps. I've got the Wow Gold Embossing Powder. This is a really, really pretty colour and I like the way that it doesn't leave lots of stray bits of embossing powder around when I heat it. It melts so beautifully. I'm working on a pale pink cardstock. I think it's a basil one. Now for my second layer of gold embossing, I've got some strips of embossing, oh no, strips of masking paper, sorry, to create some embossed gold stripes over top. Now these are from Judikins and the good thing about using these is I know my stripes are going to be the same width. And I'm just adding some more Versamark ink directly over the previously embossed area and onto the cardstock to create my stripes. I'll just add some more embossing powder. It's the same gold I'm using again. And then I can hit it with my heat tool. And look at that. Isn't that gold just the prettiest thing? So I'm just going to remove the masking paper now and I don't know if you can see it but it has actually removed a little bit of gold embossing in a couple of areas but that's okay I'll sort that out or cover it up with the embellishments. So now I'm just cutting down the panel to fit the front of my card and I've got some Ranger. This is the classic cherry it's a really pretty red and I'm going to do the same thing. I've just left my stamp on the work surface and then adding my white cardstock straight over top. And then I can cut my flowers out. And I'm not being really particular with these flowers. I am leaving a small border around them, but I don't want them to look perfect. And now I'm going to start working on my sentiment. And this is from a good day set. And it's hard to see at the moment, but it actually says thank you. Well, you might be able to see it in a minute. Well, I know you'll be able to see it in a minute because I'm going to add some powder to it. And I'm working on the smooth side of some basil cardstock. This is a uh, black. There you go. Now you can see it. And I've used the powder tool because black cardstock is notorious for showing bits of embossing powder. So now I can just cut this down, ready to go on my card front and this is where I get to move stuff around for a little while and work out where I want to put my bits and pieces. And I know that this panel is going to cover the whole front of my card, so I'm using my stamp runner. And this is a really strong adhesive and is perfect for this because of the warping that's been caused from the heat embossing. And then I want to add some gold thread. So I've got a half inch glue dot. And the best thing about glue dots is that they're so sticky and the worst thing about glue dots is that they're so sticky look I actually cut some of that out would you believe it <laughs> it took me forever to get that backing paper off the glue dot but anyway you get the idea so now I'm swirling some of the DMC this is a embroidery thread and and it's not going anywhere those glue dots are so strong just working out that I'm going to be able to see the embroidery thread once I get the flowers down and I'll just quickly pop those up and this is the scrapbook adhesives foam squares and I've got some white and some black I like to use the black ones behind the black panels because if you do look at it from the side you can't see I know it probably makes no difference but I like them
I also decided to add some Annabelle sprinkles and because I'm putting these onto some embossed areas I'm using the multi matte medium it's a nice strong adhesive and for a final touch I've got some liquid glue what's that one that was the Tombow one to add a small black strip of cardstock across the top of the card so now I'm done look at all that shimmer isn't it so pretty thanks for joining me today I've had heaps of fun and I'll catch you real soon so till then Happy paper crafting. Bye.